so awkward for me. You'll get used to it again. It's so weird. It's like I haven't filmed the fucking YouTube video since like... I mean, it's been a long ass time, right? It's been like five, six months. It's been like eight months. No shit. Yeah, it's been eight months since I filmed. I mean, I guess it started off really as just like... Well, eight months ago, I was living at that Studio City house, um, which was the house that I was living in with Jordan, Jay. He, well, he was like back and forth, but Jordan, Jay, Keo, Anthony, he was there for a little bit. Um, and I was pushing, I was pushing content out like once a week at least, and maybe skip a week every now and again. But like, I, I'd get content out pretty regularly, but. That was a really weird time in my life, dude. Like that, that time of my life, was, it was kind of figuring out if I really wanted to like pursue this or like do stuff like this. I mean, you had just moved from where I, you were yeah. growing up, never living anywhere I, else. I literally, I just moved from Seattle a few days after I turned 18. And I mean, honestly to start off, I, I want to tell you guys what went down as far as like moving out here. Um, so I think I moved out here a few days after I turned 18 and then, you know, I moved to Encino in that Sway gaming house and whatnot. And, uh, so I moved out there. I was there for like two months, but I've always been the type of guy that likes to, you know, like I've, I've been streaming since I was 14. Uh, and I've never really, I never really had like a surge of like just people coming into my, uh, into my chat. I was streaming to like maybe a hundred people during that time. But I would still stream every day and you know, like my thought on it being the Sway Gaming House and all that stuff was that we were all gonna collectively, you know, stream together, play games together, all that stuff. But uh, it didn't turn out to be that way, obviously. You know, maybe like one of the dudes would stream every now and again. I mean Keo streamed Keo actually still streams pretty frequently. Honestly, I, I see him pop up on my following every now and again. Keo actually de uh, streams a decent amount. But it was ne it wasn't really like that when I first moved there. And uh it was, it was it was really weird for me, you know. At that time, like Corona wasn't a crazy thing yet, and um, so there were like parties and stuff like that. And I would be sitting in my room playing video games, and I didn't really like to party. I never really liked to, but I felt I felt like in order to like be an influencer at that time, that I had to go out and like party and stuff. So I'd I'd go out every once in a while and like drink and whatnot, which is like not really my thing in the first place. I never even really did it in high school. Um, but you know, time passes there and this really weird situation happens where uh, it's like, I just, I wake up one morning and like the guys are gone. They're just like, and then I, I see a text from some of them like, hey, yo, we moved out. You're moving to this place though. You're not moving with us, you're moving to this place. And I was like, okay, whatever. But in my mind at the time, like, you know, thinking like, as an influencer having $200 in your bank account, I thought that was like insane, you know, like just being able to like afford food every week. And so I, I was like, fuck it, dude, if they're giving me a place to stay, why not? So I moved to that house with uh, Anthony. It was, it was just Anthony and Keo and me at the time. And uh, you know, we get there and it's like, Super, it's super nasty, dude. It's like there's there's maggots under pizza. I, there there are two pizza boxes that were on this table in there, and I lift them up. And there's just maggots crawling out of it. I was like, ah, oh, oh. it was fucking nasty. And then, you know, like a mountain of Amazon packages in the backyard, just like that. We never got rid of, even after staying there for so long, because we were like, how the fuck do we get rid of this shit? I'm not responsible. I'm fucking. I'm, I don't know how to fucking do this. Who do I call? A fucking box man. Like that's what I thought at the time. I was like, what the fuck? And you know, you realize you realize later, like what towards the end of the house when I was actually starting to become more aware of things. I was like, I could just have somebody take this shit and they'd actually take it and recycle it and were shit just like, like that. Empty boxes. But yeah, they were just empty boxes, and I was like, and they were just. It was a mountain. Like I'm talking like 15 feet of Amazon boxes. Jeez. And so I mean, I was there for a while. You know, that's that's kind of in that time like that September it was September I, th I believe um was when I started like I it was my first like kind of like blow up or whatever you could say like I had like Vin talk or whatever go around which is I don't, I don't know I don't really have an opinion on that stuff um but I had that stuff going around and uh you know I was start I was starting to stream a little bit more because I had more motivation a lot of people were coming into my streams and stuff it was, it was super cool but um kind of during that time 
a lot of stuff was going down as far as people wanting, wanting to see me like fail and stuff like that. You know, I had, I had those people try to call me out and cancel me and believe me, a few things that I've said are really stupid. Like the whole Biden thing was fucking, I don't know, dude. I was, I was cringy as fuck too. Like I, I, I admit that like, I was like corny as hell. Like, but I thought that like, you know, after being with these, all these influencers and different personalities, that's what I picked up off of them. And it kind of just translated into who I wasn't. And I, and I perceived, like, I, I looked that way to people because I'd, I'd take other pers people's personalities in a way, like the way that they told me to do it. And I'd just be like, okay, didn't even think about it and just fucking throw it out there. And, you know, like going through all that doesn't seem like a lot, but then there were a lot of stuff behind the scenes. Um, maybe a little bit afterwards towards, um, maybe like about a month before, two months before I moved into Hype House, I was in a really, really, really dark place. Um, something that I won't get into too much detail about uh, just because, you know, it's it's not something that I want to put out there to frighten people. I don't mind, you know, people knowing about this stuff because I, I have said it before, but I just don't want to make this that whole, the whole video. Um, but it was, it was a really rough spot to be in at the time. I uh, didn't know where I was going with my life. I, I, I remember calling my mom. I'm like, hey, like, I want to move back. I want to go. I'll, I'll do community college. If, uh, like, I'll, I'll come back. I'll say, can I stay at your place? Like, I'll do community college. Like, I'll work. I'll, you know, like, I, I, I'm still an electrician and all that stuff. Like, I, I can go back and do that. And my mom was like, no, you've only been out there for this long. You're not done. Like, you, you, don't, you don't not have a place to stay. And you're still able to afford food. You're still able to do some things that you love to do. So give it some time. And if in, in that time you don't do what you want to do and you can't do anything about it, then yes, I will accept you and come back. But like, and she even, you know, she even said like, if you want, if you really want to come back right now, then I'll let you, but think about it. Like, think about what I'm saying. So I, I kind of took that with me. And um, I stayed for a little bit longer, you know, going through those rough times. I didn't really tell my parents. I didn't really tell my friends or my family. I was just kind of going through it by myself, which is not something that you should do in times like that. You need to reach out to people. You need to go see somebody, you know, you need to, you need to tell people about it or else it's not going to get off your shoulders. And um, it was, it was a really tough spot. And that was the time where I, I stopped posting on YouTube. Um, during, uh, you know, like I'd say a lot of like rash things, like things that were like, like, you know, I made that pain account when like, yeah. And like people's perspectives, it was corny, but to me at the time it was something to cope with, which was a really fucking stupid and weird way to cope with something like that. Um, you know, like I'd really mean that stuff. And, uh, but it was just like, it was, it was really fucking corny. Um, but that during that time was like, that's one of the reasons why I wasn't posting. Uh, it just, it, it never really came to me as something like at the time that I really wanted to focus on, you could say, because I had, I was so stuck on streaming. I like, it was something I was doing since I was young. And I was like, I got to keep streaming. I don't care if I'm depressed. I don't care if I'm sad. I don't care if all these things are happening to me right now. Like I don't care. I'm going to keep streaming. I'm going to keep posting on TikTok and all that stuff. So, I mean, that's a huge part as to why I stopped posting on YouTube was because I had so many different routes that I wanted to go down. And, you know, like I even like, I, I just, I just distanced myself from everything else that was available to me. You know, I had a good group of people that would come and watch my YouTube videos, but I wouldn't, I, I, I never put content out for those people that wanted to see it. You know, that want to see my daily life and all that stuff because Posting skate videos and, and you know what I do in a day it was fun, but like it was something that like at the time like I had, I had a great filmer he was really cool Lance was really cool but it wasn't something that like I wanted to like if anything that's why I'm doing this by myself or with like people that I know that I've known for a long time like I'm gonna have like Liza help record me and stuff like that I'm gonna record myself I'm gonna bring my camera to Seattle and all that stuff but you know I mean like. I didn't want to, you know, have to go and talk to like text my filmer and be like, yo, let's go film today and let's go out and do stuff because I didn't, after a little bit, I didn't really want to go out and do stuff. I just wanted to sit in my room. I wanted to stream. I wanted to do all this. Like 
it was just a really weird time for me. And it was a very dark time at the same time. It, it was a lot to un unravel. But um, as far as that goes, to kind of give you guys more detail about what has happened throughout my mind in these past few months, you know, I get invited to Hype House. I don't really know the guys very well. Um, they're kind of just like, you know, Thomas is like, hey, like we're moving to this house. We have this room open that you can come stay in. I think it would be, you know, I think it'd be good for you. I think it'd be good for, it would benefit both of us. And I was like, you know, at the time also, that house that I was staying at with, with Jordan and, and Jay and Keo and, you know, all of them, it was, it was coming to a point where like, we were either gonna start having to pay a shit ton of money to stay at that house, or we were gonna have to leave. And I know that a lot of those guys didn't wanna have to fucking pay for that house, it was a lot of money. So, we kinda just like, dispersed, you know, Jordan got a place with Maddie, very happy for those two. Uh, Jay, he's doing stuff in Seattle, which is great to see. Desi as well in Seattle, and I, I, I believe she goes to New York, or she might be in New York. It's like, I don't know, it's like, I'm not really uh, caught up with that type of stuff. And then, you know, Keo's with Amanda, which is awesome. All those guys, you know, I, I, and I lose touch with them, and I lose touch with a lot of people, and it really hurts because, like, I feel as if, like, I, I, I want to tell them, at the time I want to tell them, you know, like, the reason I'm not responding to you isn't because I don't like you, it's because I don't know where I'm going with my life. And this was at the time where, you know, Thomas is reaching out to me about Hype House, but then those guys at the house are like, let's get a place together, blah, 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 and it's going back and forth, and I'm like, I, I don't know what to do. And, you know, at the same time, yeah, it's good to like, hang out with your buddies that you've been with, but it's also a time for change, which is what I told Jordan and those guys. I was like, yo, like, hey, it's time for something different. We were all feeling it. We were all, we were all feeling it in our heads, but we didn't want to say it because we've grown so close, but we were like, we need something different. So we all dispersed. I went to hype, all that stuff. At first it was kind of weird, you know, because you know, how it is when you meet friends for the first time. Like I, I know these guys, but I don't know them. I don't know them, know them. So I come here and, and uh, it's like, I get my own room, it's great. Like the place is awesome and all that stuff. And they, they know I'm like streaming and all that stuff 24 seven. And I'm like, okay, like this is cool. Like I, I do my 24 hour, like I think in like the first like few weeks that I get in there. Um, I'm hanging out with them a lot, all that stuff, it's great, it's super cool, and then it just keeps going up from there. And it's just like, you know, that stuff happens, and then, hey, we're doing a Netflix show, and then, hey, you wanna do this boxing event. So I'm training for, I'm, I'm training for this boxing event for six months in a row, every single day, waking up at four in the morning, driving an hour, working out for two or three hours, coming back, not even being able to hop in the shower, and then just going to film like 500 scenes in the day. So it's like, and, and also balancing that out with streaming and posting, it's like, I can't, I couldn't do YouTube at the time. There was just so much going on. Like I couldn't like, yeah, maybe I could take my camera down and vlog me boxing and just set the camera down. But like, who wants to do that? You know, like that takes the training out of the training. It just feels like a business type thing or like you're posting just to, you're just doing it to post. So, you know, I, I'm doing all that stuff. Then I go to the boxing match, you know, I fight Deji. Obviously, you know, know the outcome. He's a great kid. I, he, he got fucked over by, the, by his trainers, to be honest. Like, his, his fitness trainers just fucked him over. Um, but a, a, along that bridge, I don't think I'll probably ever want to fight again. Just because of the fact that, like, I have so many things that I want to do as a 19 year old kid and a lot of people don't realize that or know that I'm 19 and that I have a lot of different things that I want to do and I've said this before, this is why I have such a huge respect for boxers. It's because they have to devote every single day of their life to boxing and a lot of them don't even get the chance to pursue it at the pro level. But it's just not something that I do just because it, it, it would be like that every day. It's just training, 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 training. I'm not Jake Paul. I'm not Logan Paul. You know, like I'm not one of those guys like that will just 
throw everything except they they're like different dude they they have all their social medias that they're that they're doing while they're training while they're doing all this stuff and it's just not it's just not for me you know like those guys are committing to it really well but it's just not something that i can do so i don't really see myself doing that again but as far as that goes i mean you you guys are basically all caught up i just really want to put this video out there to kind of explain to you guys what's been going on since I last posted on YouTube. Um, it's been a lot. It's definitely been hard, but I'm doing great now. I found a lot of great friends. Um, you know, I I think what we we started hanging out like frequently. Like, was it was it kind of like when I moved into hype? No, it was like a little bit after because you had already been here. You were driving around that. Oh no, you were still driving that Camaro around when you were in the Encino house, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think, no, it was right after you moved into Hype, and then we went to go get the BMW. Oh, yeah. And then after that, it was like, and we had been texting like car stuff, like, oh, what can we do to the BMW? Like, da da da. Yeah. And then you sent me the Corvette, and I said, don't ever send me that again. <laughs> I sent you the FD, and you said, need it now. <laughs> we flew up to Sacramento two days later, drove it back down here all in one day and then it was just like it was yeah. it was after that yeah. yeah it was after that we were hanging out like basically every day and like same with like Eamon and stuff like they they they'd come down and like hang out every now and again but they they hadn't moved near us yet but then you know once they moved down here we hang out with them like almost every day um and dude it's it's been really good everybody at the house is super nice they're all my like my family now um and, you know, Thomas is really the one that actually pushed me to do YouTube again because he, like he said, like, it's just something that like, it's another way of pushing out content that people don't even see on Twitch streams because like, yeah, as much as I'd love to do IRL Twitch streams, it's not something that you can do all the time. Yeah. That's what YouTube's for in the first place. So, it, you know, like... I'm glad that I'm back on this track and that I'm able to do this stuff again. I'm de um, I'm definitely gonna vlog for Seattle. If you guys didn't know, me and Jet are shipping down the Sil80 and the R32. Hopefully getting the Sil80 wrapped, but if not, no worries, like it doesn't really matter. We just wanna get it wrapped for Seattle to have it look clean. So, I mean, you know, if that happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, but we're gonna do a lot of vlogging down there. Um, you guys will, you know, meet my family and all that stuff even more than you already know them. Uh, and just, it'll be fun. It'll be really fun. Yeah, I want to I wanna go, I want to go to a few places that I need to, there's a few places I need to visit. But it'll be super fun. I'm excited to keep you guys posted on that stuff. Uh, hopefully, I'll, I'll let you guys, I'll let you guys know on my socials when I'm going to post that video. But as far as this video goes, guys, thank you guys for listening and hearing me out kind of basically just hear me out the whole time ranting and shit like that. But I appreciate you guys um, be more consistent. I'm going to try to post at least two times a week. Don't take my word for it, though. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Take my word for it. I'm a beast. I'm going to do it. Ooh. Ooh. That, was a that was weird. Okay. All right. I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys for uh, for watching. I promise it'll be less awkward once I start vlogging and shit. I just, I just don't sit in front of cameras like this anymore. So I'll see you guys later. You guys have a great night or day.